good morning today we are going to discuss about the basic electrical circuits that is a basic dc circuits okay basic dc circuit the closed path followed by a direct current is called a dc circuit that is we know electric current flows only through a closed path that is the closed path followed by the electric current is known as a electric circuit basically in electrical engineering circuits are of two types first one is a series circuit and second one is a parallel circuit let's discuss about the series circuit and parallel circuit in detail first is series circuit what do you mean by series circuit a series circuit is one in which the resistance are connected end to end so that there is only one path for current to flow that is uh, let's draw an example of a series circuit in a series circuit resistances or loads are connected from end to end that is this is two resistors connected in series and third one that r1 r2 and r3 are connected in series that is the start point of one resistor is connected to the end point of other resistor. The start point of the second resistor is connected to the end point of the third resistor and so on. So this is an example of a series circuit. And when we provide as EMF source or a battery across the voltage, this is a closed circuit. Closed circuit consisting of series combination of three resistors R1, R2 and R3. Let V be the voltage of the source applied. Then this is a closed circuit and as we know electric current will flow through the circuit. Let us assume the direction of electric current is clockwise. That is electric current I flows through the circuit. Here there is only one closed path for electric current to flow. Therefore in a series circuit resistors are connected to end to end so that there is only one closed path for electric current. This is the only closed path through which electric current can flow. This is an example of, an, of a series circuit. Therefore from Ohm's law we can define the voltage across the resistors R1, R2 and R3. That is firstly I can represent the voltage across the voltage across R1 can be given by R1 is equal to from Ohm's law we have V is equal to IR. Therefore voltage across R1 is equal to I into the same current I into R1. Similarly voltage across R2 is equal to I into R2 and similarly voltage across R3 is equal to I into R3. Therefore, these three are the voltage drop in the loads or resistors connected in the closed circuit. And from Kirchhoff's law, we know that the applied voltage is equal to sum of the voltage drop across all the resistors. Therefore, we can write the total applied voltage V is equal to I R1 that is a voltage drop across the first resistor plus voltage drop across the second resistor I R2 plus voltage drop across the third resistor and from that I can write V is equal to I into R1 plus R2 plus R3 taking I common outside V is equal to I into R2 from that we can write total applied voltage V is equal to total applied voltage V is equal to I into R equivalent I into R equivalent therefore total applied voltage V is equal to I into equivalent resistance of the three resistors from the expression we can write R equivalent or total equivalent resistance resistance of three resistors connected in series is given by R equivalent is equal to sum of the three resistors connected in series that is R1 plus R2 plus R3 and R equivalent is known as the equivalent resistance of three resistors connected in series. Therefore, in a series circuit, we can also represent the total power consumed P is equal to total power consumed P is equal to sum of the powers dissipated in individual resistors. That is P1 plus P2 plus P3, where P1 is the P3, where P1 is the power dissipated in resistance R1, P2 is the power dissipated in resistance R2 and P3 is the power dissipated in resistance R3. Therefore, in a series circuit, we can also represent the total power is the sum of the individual powers. Therefore, as conclusion, we can write in a series circuit, 
the total resistance the total resistance is equal to sum of total resistance is equal to sum of individual resistances okay and second one total power is equal to total power is equal to sum of powers in individual resistors and also we can write in a series circuit the important one the current is same in all resistors current is the same in all resistors because there is only single current flowing through all the three resistors because they are connected in series but the voltage is different in three resistors so the voltage drop in three resistors are different and the sum of these three voltage drops is equal to total applied voltage therefore we can write current is the same in all three resistors but the voltage is different therefore these are the three conclusions we obtain from a series circuit that is total resistance is equal to sum of the resistors from equation we have i is equal to r plus r2 is equal to i equivalent and total power is equal to sum of the individual powers also in a series circuit current is the same through all the resistors the current flowing through all the resistors is the same but the voltage across each resistor is different that's all about a series circuit now let us analyze the condition of a parallel circuit second one a parallel circuit let me draw an example of a parallel circuit a parallel circuit is one in which the start point or the beginning of all the resistors are connected together and the end point of all the resistors are connected together. let us consider three resistors r1 r2 and r3 this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 we can clearly define the start point and end point as left and right then in a parallel circuit in a parallel circuit, the start point of all the three resistors are connected together and end point of all three resistors are connected. This is an example of a parallel circuit. And I am going to connect an EM of source or voltage source across the parallel circuit. This is a case in which start point of all the resistors are connected together and end point of all the resistors are connected together. Then V is applied voltage and V is applied voltage. As we know, current I will flow through the circuit. Current I will flow through the circuit. Therefore, let R1, R2, R3 be the value of the three resistors. R2, R3, R2 and R3 be the value of the three resistors. Then let us analyze the condition of a parallel circuit. From the circuit itself, we can see the current I flows through the closed circuit. There is a closed circuit is formed between the parallel branch of R1, R2, R3 and the total circuit. Therefore, current I will flow through the circuit. When current I reaches this point, we can see there is three different paths for current I to flow. That is, current I can, a portion of current I can either flow through R1, flow to R2 or flow through R3. These are the three different paths of a current to flow. Therefore, in a parallel circuit, we can conclude that The current flowing through three different resistors is different. Current flowing through three different resistors is different. That is, this current here, this current I split into three parts and then again they joined it here in again into a simple current I1. Therefore, we can represent the current I1 is flowing through R1, I2 is flowing through R3 and I3 is flowing through R3 where total current I is a sum of I1 plus I2 plus I3. From Ohm's law, we can represent the current flowing through I1 is given by, from Ohm's law, we can simply represent current flowing through I1 is given by the total applied voltage, that is the voltage across R1 is applied voltage itself, it is a constant, that is V by R1 plus I2, current flowing through I2 through R2 is equal to V by R2 plus I3 is equal to, current flowing through I3 is equal to V by R3. And from this expression, I can take V common outside and represent 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Therefore, from Ohm's law, we can know that I is equal to V by R. Therefore, I can represent the total equivalent resistance in a parallel circuit R equivalent or the reciprocal of total equivalent circuit in a parallel, parallel connected circuit 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Therefore, in a parallel circuit where number of resistors are connected in parallel, the reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistors. Here also, we have the total power consumed P is the sum of P1 plus P2 plus P3. 
where P1, P2 and P3 are the powers consumed in the resistors R1, R2 and R3 respectively. Therefore, as a conclusion, we can represent in a parallel circuit. Total reci reciprocal of the total resistance. Reciprocal of the total resistance. Total resistance is equal to reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of sum of reciprocals of individual resistors. Sum of the reciprocals of individual resistors. Also similarly, the total power is equal to total power is the same as in a series circuit total power is equal to sum of powers and the most important one and third one is the the condition of current and voltage therefore in a series as, in a, as different from a series circuit we can see the total current flowing through three different resistors are different but the voltage across the three different resistors are the same therefore in a parallel connected circuit in a parallel connected circuit the voltage is the same voltage is same but voltage is same but current is different so this is a case in which the two resist two types of electric circuits are compared therefore as conclude we can conclude in a series circuit in a simple series circuit the voltage across the resistors, voltage across three different resistors are different. The current, the current flowing through the three resistors is the same because there is only one path for electric current to flow. But in a parallel circuit, there are three, three resistors are connected in parallel. Electric current can flow through either of the three resistors. Therefore, there are three different paths for current to flow. Therefore, in a parallel circuit, we can represent the voltage across the three resistors are the same, but the current flowing through the resistors are different. Therefore, in a parallel circuit, we can say total current is the sum of the individual currents, whereas in a series connector circuit, we can represent the total voltage is equal to sum of the individual voltages. Therefore, parallel circuits are very advantageous. Parallel circuits can be used to connect. Therefore, parallel circuits have the same voltage rating across the three different elements. Therefore, in a parallel circuit, we can connect. In a parallel circuit, we can connect the appliances, my appliances, electric appliances with the same voltage rating together. With the same voltage rating together. Uh, but are of different power rating therefore voltage different voltage rating equipments can be connected together in a same voltage rating sorry same voltage rating equipments can be connected together in a parallel circuit so that the voltage across each voltage across each resistor or each load is the same so that as, as in case of our domestic house wearing the loads are connected in parallel combination because in parallel combination the voltage remains constant across every load voltage remains constant across every load connected therefore the household wiring is always made in parallel because uh, each appliances are rated at uh, uh, same voltage that is 230 volt as per Indian standards therefore they are connected in parallel also the parallel connection parallel connection improves the reliability of the circuit parallel connection improves the reliability of the circuit. any of the any of the loads get disconnected it's any of the loads in the circuit gets disconnected it does not affect the condition of the other loads the other loads keep on working but whereas in case of a series circuit if there is any disconnection if there is any disconnection or fault in any of the any in any in any part of the circuit the three loads will stop working that's the main advantage of parallel circuit thank you